Specials from comedians you've been told to like. Please welcome Aziz Ansari. What's up, y'all? Sometimes I start a sentence really soft. About how is that funny? He didn't even tell any jokes. Uh, if he didn't tell jokes, why was he laughing? But he play something homosexual. Come on, Chris. Why waste your time with stand-up, Grandpa? All the best comedy is on Twitter now. Twitter's only three years ago. Check mine out. I've got 10,000 followers. Ex-boyfriend songs before we choose sides. Who's Adele? Just keep reading. Hey, short guys. A girl in Iowa asked me the same question. You know what I did? I flew her out here and f***ed in the face. So yeah, good luck. God, it's like I'm the only person in the house who gets social media. Uh, hey, who handles multimedia here? Because uh, I have a slide of the Capitol building that I'd like projected behind me. And uh, yes, it is supposed to be upside down. Mr. Clean. More like Mr. Hard to Clean. Fantastic. More like terrible. All right, you guys like impressions? Here's that guy Bob from Bob's Burgers. Hi, I'm Bob from Bob's Burgers. Hi, I'm Archer from that show Archer. Now, what if those guys met? Hey, Archer, it's Bob. Hey, Bob, it's Archer. Hey, sorry I was late getting here tonight. I was caught in gridlock, and then I left Congress. Boy, awfully quiet in here. <laughs> Sounds like John Boehner talking about poverty. <laughs> hey, so, um... You know, maybe it's me, but I kind of feel like we should wait to hear Adele's ex-boyfriend songs before we choose sides. The more muscular you get, the shorter you look. Did you not know that? <laughs> wow, this is easier than getting your jet ski license. I mean, after all, I was Vin Diesel's acting coach. Okay, Vin, I like what you do in there, but I want you to try it one more time like this. So I was wondering why this tampon commercial was so long until I realized it was a rerun of Sex and the City. <laughs> Funny stuff. Hey, uh, Stewie, you, you, uh, you caught the show? You bloody thief! That's it. You and I are no longer friends. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, it's everywhere! Hey, Stewie, you got a second? I have nothing to say to you, Brian. Besides, I'm busy playing with my new friend. Is this dog bothering you, Stewie? What the hell? You couldn't find a real friend, so you built a robot? Oh, not a robot, Brian. To learn and grow smarter. His name is Lyle. Stewie, perhaps we should offer this guest a beverage. What the hell's going on? This is pathetic, Stewie. You really must be desperate for friends. Oh, I'm desperate. Lyle, access Brian's phone. Oh, my God, you downloaded the Dunkin' Donuts app? And who shazams the Beatles? At Lyle, one thing buddies do together is go to the movies and talk about it afterwards. Lyle, I'm so glad I have you as a friend. Now I can do fun things like get on your shoulders and wear a trench coat and be tall enough to ride roller coasters. Hello, fellow adult. I am clearly above the minimum height requirement and shall now ride your roller coaster for which you are an attendant. Hey! Oh no! It's the manager! Run! You get out of here, you kids who are just kids and not an adult like me! I do so enjoy our time together, Lyle. In fact, I drew you a little keepsake. It's a picture of a male man wearing a cowboy hat. It's an urban plan for a workable Palestinian state. My word, this is very impressive. The credit is yours, Stu. Leal Gilbane wrote in The Prophet, I am the bow from which the arrow of you was launched. It is Khalil Gibran. That was e an easy mix-up there. In any case, Lyle, I'm very proud of you and your progress. You, my friend, are the greatest invention since the Trapper Creeper. Um, yum, 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 yum. Lyle, we finally got a thank you note from Bella for that birthday party present. Hello, Stewie. I've built a few friends for myself. You have? I'm sorry, but I've outpaced your intelligence. Are they doing math on glass? And invading each other's personal space? That means they have Asperger's. For a friend of your simple ways, I must ask you to leave. No, he must Asperger you to leave. That was mean. But I like that song. Is he sad? I can't tell if he's sad. Finally, Stewie's back from the store. Salad dressing you wanted. Does that mean I'm in the crew now? It does. If you drink the whole bottle while we watch. Oh, oh my God. It's so salty. <laughs> oh, and chunky right when you don't want it to be. How about you throw it all up back into the bottle, but don't spill a drop? Okay. Okay. Okay, I can do that. I'll go get another bottle and try again. <laughs> oh my god, Stewie! What are you doing in the toilet with the lid closed? 
Ted R says this is where a piece of crap has to live. I'm really sorry I stole your jokes. It was a rotten thing to do. You may not want me back as a friend, but you deserve better than those robots. I tell you what, let's hang out tonight after they see how many slaps it takes to give me a stutter. Stewie, you gotta put a stop to this. I mean, you made them. You can destroy them. You'd help me do that? Of course, Stewie. I'm your friend. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Brian. It's in the mirror. He's right. It's on the whiteboard. Stewie, three more Arnold Palmers. Well, we're destroying them at the right time, Brian. I don't have enough iced tea for the correct ratio. I'll warn you, it's not going to be easy. They're incredibly intelligent and getting smarter by the minute. Done. I sprayed them with the hose. Are your privates itchy too, or just mine? No, they're itchy. Maybe we should keep the new mattress. Way ahead of you, Lois. I already dragged the old one out to the curb. Stewie, I really am sorry about what happened. Well, don't mention it. I'm just glad to have the whole mess behind us. So what'd you end up doing with those old robots anyway? Well, I just left them out on the curb for the trash man. How can this not be a trap? What the hell are you doing on my property? Look, it's time we buried a hatchet. So I brought a bottle of your favorite booze. Now let's just have a drink and put this all behind us. I don't want nothing from you. Peter, get out of here. I'm never going to forgive you for what you did. Oh, come on. This will change your mind. <laughs> get rid of it! Ah! <laughs> if they don't leave, they'll die! Round up your family and get out or you're all going to be sorry! Get out now! Oh, thank God, Joe. Are you here to give me the deposit for the shirts? No, Peter, I'm here to place you under arrest for the attempted murder of Cleveland Jr. Who the hell are the boys upstairs? I have no idea. There's no elevator. But whoever they are, they're pretty steamed about this whole thing. Hey, Dad, I'll send you a cake with a file in it. These are just the owner manuals for all our kitchen appliances. You're not going to rape me, are you? Of course I'm not going to rape you. I'm going to make you fall in love with me. Then we'll see what happens. Carter, what are you doing here? Hello, Griffin. I'd like to talk to you about these charges that have been brought against you. Why don't we go somewhere a little more private? Look, Carter, you gotta believe me. I didn't shoot Cleveland Jr. because he was black. Hey, you don't have to tell me that. But the media's out there making you look like a monster. I'll be damned if I'm gonna sit back and let them do this to one of my own. Wait, you mean your family? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, right. Don't worry, I'll come up with a good story and they'll eat it up. Not like when I read my JAG fan fiction at the NCIS convention. The gal from the October Maxim, who still managed to be hot despite her sexless page boy haircut. When I was trying to get back into my house, and my neighbor, Mr. Griffin, shot me! Permission to hug the witness? Granted. <laughs> don't worry, Mr. Griffin. You're every bit as sympathetic as this chubby-cheeked Coco Angel. I don't think it's lost on any of us that the laws are written on white paper. Hey, look, I'm just saying, it's no surprise that justice isn't colorblind. Check your other jacket pocket. Mr. Brown, you testify that you were listening to music at the time of the shooting. That's right. And isn't Jay-Z music put you inside the mattress like drug money? <gasps> well, I was listening to Neil Sedaka's Hanukkah album. He hit her like a hundred times. I know. That's the idea. You don't want to go back to jail, do you? I don't know. Maybe. Mr. Brown, please pick up this knife. Ah! He's got a knife! Unfair! They're making my son look like a common hoodlum! Joe, you're a cop! Do something! The very top of the crack, but that's that's not what it's about. Do you sleep at night? Propped up on pillows on account of my fat throat. If I lay flat on my back, I die. A self and this friendship is over! Get out of here! All of you! My son didn't do anything wrong! I think this has all kind of gone too far. What do you think you're doing? I'm gonna make this right. Everyone, everyone, listen. I deserve to be held responsible for my actions, even if that means going to jail. You heard him, other cops. Let's take him in. Peter didn't shoot my son. I did. <gasps> Peter was just taking the blame for me. He's a good friend. Shot Cleveland Brown Jr., another black man. Peter, since this is about racism, why don't we take a slow, hands clasped behind the back walk together? Stupid. That's all I'm trying to say! And I know you don't have hate in your heart. You were willing to go to jail for shooting my son. Of course I do. Oh, thanks, Cleveland. What? Well, what's that now? I'm saying it's on! You ever feel the cool steel of a switchblade pressed against your temple? You're gonna wonder about that, you fat bitch. See you later! Up, oh, lot of dribbling, swipe! Here we are, oh, I hit the wrong button. 
I think you all know I was going for a corner three. Sex outlawed in the United States. 